Hello and welcome to a new class. Today we are looking at testing's contribution to success. Let's say there is a developer who works on a code and creates a software. He then directly hands over that software to the customer. Now that the customer has the software, he uses it, but soon becomes very disappointed. Why? Because he has found an error in the software. So now the question arises, why did the customer find the error and not us? The answer is that once the software was developed, we handed it over directly to the customer instead of going through this rigorous process of testing. If we had put the product through this process, it is possible that we could have caught the error before it ever reached the customer. And this is where I have to mention something crucial. We have to perform appropriate testing at appropriate levels. The development of a product can be broken down into several levels of activity. At each level, we have to decide what is the appropriate testing that should be carried out. Let's take a look at these different levels of development activities. The first level is requirements. In a future video, you will see how testing requirements contributes to success. The second level is the design stage. Here, we will see how testing design contributes to the success of the project. After design comes coding. And we will also discuss how testing coding contributes to success. And finally, the software is ready. And we will analyze what kind of software testing will contribute to the success of the products. If we carry out testing at each level, then we will achieve a successful product. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Happy testing.